As a solution to the prevailing food crisis in the country, the Colombo Municipal Council has initiated a campaign to cultivate food crops within the CMC premises. Colombo Municipal Council together with Cargill's Agro Development Company have initiated the project under the guidance of Colombo Mayor Rosie Senanayaka. With the project, Colombo residents are encouraged to cultivate essential food crops in their unused bare lands, home gardens, balconies and rooftops. So today we have just launched uh, the Urban Harvest Team, one of the programs with Cargill Agro. They have come in as uh, sponsors to sponsor this particular patch in the uh, town hall grounds. Uh, this is very unique. We are growing about 10 items of vegetation with the support of Cargill Agro Division. This is one of their CSR programs together with the Colombo Municipality. This is to encourage residents who will be people who would be coming to the town hall and people who are bypassing will see this and uh, realize that you know you could do it anywhere. So we have actually started the urban harvesting program in all our premises, whether it's the uh, in the public library, in all our district offices, our community centers, uh, children's. Uh, Play areas. We have started uh, harvesting. We have also reaped the uh, harvest and we are using them in our community kitchens. So, this is one such program that we started with uh, the urban harvesting uh, concept together with uh, the one team that is uh, a group of professionals from the private sector that came together with the Columbia municipality to do the urban harvesting program. And we have been very successful. We have already started reaping the harvest and using them in our urban um, kitchen, in our community kitchens. And the community kitchens are primarily the objective of the community kitchens are to enable the residents of the Colombo uh, municipal limits, who are the underserved communities and children who are malnourished, uh, pregnant mothers, lactating mothers, uh, also people with different labour needs, and the low of the lowest, uh, the low income uh, groups. These people are identified by the public health department and our PHIs. They've been given a card and for three months we'll be assessing and monitoring their uh, health conditions. We have basically make sure that you know all the nutrients are in these uh, meals that we give them on a daily basis. Apart from this, I must say all the UN agencies have supported us uh, immensely, especially the World Food Program has uh, supported our pregnant mothers. We have basically given more, almost 3,000 pregnant mothers uh, vouchers of 50,000 rupees and lactating mothers 10,000 rupees deposited to their accounts. UNICEF has given us a midday meal to all our preschool uh, children, uh, which is actually helping the Colombo city. Because uh, when we talk about the current economic status and the uh, current issues in the country, the urban poor are the ones who are affected the most, and it is uh, the one team together with the Colombo Municipality Band together just to try and eradicate some of the major uh, issues that are prevailing with regards to the current situation, and to see exactly how to keep people afloat and with their uh, nutritional uh, aspects. So I would love to commend Cargill's uh, uh, Agro Division for coming on board and doing this as a CSR program. We will also do the other side of the lawn of the Columbia Municipality with another um, interested party that is interested in doing a CSR program. And the FAO uh, will be doing uh, another uh, agriculture urban harvesting program for the city. And it's very rewarding. We also like helping all the, the uh, city dwellers who need urban harvesting in their own homes, so home gardening is something that we are encouraging people to uh, do and a lot of people have already taken up home gardening and we are supporting them with from fertilizer to sometimes uh, we need the earth and all the other necessary infrastructure for them to you know, do home gardening. For more latest news, subscribe to FTTV.